Hey guys, so I am here to film a video on what is in my diaper bag. So this has been a requested video since Easton was a newborn. He is now a three, uh, three months old, almost four months old. So for those of you guys who are new to my channel or maybe aren't even subscribed, you should first definitely subscribe and secondly um, know that I have a four-year-old daughter and I also have a three-month-old son. He's, he'll be four months old um, at the end of this month. So this diaper bag is pretty much just packed. It's really only packed for my three month old um, because my daughter doesn't really need anything anymore and when she does decide to take something, she usually just carries it by herself and sometimes it ends up in my bag. But you know, that's kind of mom life. So I'm gonna change the angle of the camera so you guys can kind of see the diaper bag better and kind of um, see how it's organized in there a little bit better. But this is my diaper bag. It is a Skip Hop diaper bag. Um, I'm not sure on what exact name it is, but I will link it down below. So, so um, overall, I like it. I don't love it. There is a few downfalls with it. The pockets, the bottle pockets are not insulated, and I feel like it's just not very organized on the inside. It's a little harder to organize since it is a tall bag. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you guys what I keep in my diaper bag. All right, so let's get started. So this bag has two pockets up here in the front. In this first pocket, I keep my nursing cover. Now this is the Copper Pearl nursing cover. I will have it linked down below. It is a three-in-one cover. Um, you can use it for a nursing cover, a cart cover, and a car seat cover. Um, and yeah, I just really, really like it. I can't speak enough good things about it. And if you don't have one, you should definitely consider getting one because they are just amazing so that's all I have in this first pocket now excuse my nails they need to be painted in this second pocket here this is kind of like my go-to pocket I I keep most of his like toys anything I need to grab really quick I keep it in here um, it just mainly consists of his toys so the first thing in here is a hat this is just a super adorable hat that we got at Target and yeah I just keep that in there because it's getting cold so it's always nice to have a hat on hand so we have that there um, I also keep a bib in here just because he is three months old and he's starting to drool a lot. He drools like crazy, has everything in his mouth. Um, so yeah, that is a definite must-have in there. I also keep a little teething toy. This is by Bright Starts. And um, yeah, I don't know if he's teething or what it is, but he loves sticking things in his mouth. So that is definitely a must-have. And I love how this toy has a little case with it um, so it keeps it nice and sanitized and we also have a little rattle um, this is obviously a hand-me-down from sister um, but he absolutely loves it I don't know if it's because it rattles so loud and easily or if it's because of the shape of the handle it's so easy for him to hold but he absolutely loves this so we definitely carry that around and we also have his keys he loves these things um, they make like really cute noise and stuff so he really likes those and that is everything that we have in there. Now this pocket is a pretty good sized pocket. It's really deep, really easy to get things in and out of. And it also does have like uh, the pencil holders type stuff. These are magnetic closures, so they do close. Um, mine are usually open because I have them stuffed so much. But yeah, that's what's in those two pockets. Now here on the side are the um, bottle pockets. Um, they are zipper pockets, so you can go in there and stick your bottle in there. I don't have one in there right now, but it does fit a 9-ounce Juvie bottle with an insulator because that's what we use. We use the Juvie boob bottles with an insulator um, because this pocket, like I said, is not insulated, so that is a downfall to this diaper bag. Um, but if you don't really care if your bottles are insulated or not, then it's not a big deal. Um, I need mine insulated because I breastfeed and I put breast milk in them. But um, yeah, it's they're pretty spacious. If you have too much stuff on the inside of your diaper bag, it gets a little harder to stick things in here, but it's not um, too bad. So it has two of those pockets. Now if you turn it to the back, um, I forgot to mention it does have handles um, for you just to carry like that and it does also have a nice long shoulder strap. Um, this diaper bag also comes with stroller straps. I just keep mine hooked up just for ease of use. It just makes it so much easier. And this back pocket, it comes with a, well I guess I'll pull this one out first. I have my planner in there and um, a pen and a, pe a pencil. 
my planner and a pen and a highlighter and then it also comes with the changing pad which is a pretty decent changing pad and now going on to the main pockets this first pocket here is what people consider the mommy pocket and then we have the main pocket so let's go ahead and look into the mommy pocket so in here it's a very it's not small but it's not as deep as the bigger pocket um the first mommy pocket goes probably about halfway down um in here i just have my wallet i have a few coupons so i have some coupons in there um i also have a tylenol and a pacifier as well as some lotion and what else is in here another coupon so that's everything that i keep in that pocket now on to the main pocket so this is a pretty long pocket it's not very wide um like if you have if you have a lot of things in this first mommy pocket it's kind of hard to get into this um other pocket and like um not the top but like deeper in there it's harder to get in there um which is a downfall but it's not a huge deal if you have organization um little bags it makes it a ton easier but i don't so it's a little difficult um so in this bag it's hard to tell but um there is two pockets here there's one pocket and here's the other pocket and then there is the main pocket so i guess we would do the main pocket first so in the main pocket i have um a little first aid kit in here i have let's see if i can do this one-handed so in here i just have a little no sucker uh, medicine dropper thermometer some band-aids and some neosporin in there so that's all that's in there and I also have some medicine in here I don't know where it went but I do have some medicine um, the next thing in there is just a blanket um, right now I just have this Carter's blanket in here and you obviously always need a blanket especially in Texas where it can be cold one day and hot the other and I also have this little kind of security blanket. Um, this was actually gifted to me by Melinda and he loves it. He loves the feel of it and he loves to teeth on this little part here. So we have that in there. And that, oh, we also have some of this Little Remedies favorite Fever and Pain Reliever. That is everything for the big pocket. I'm sorry, it's kind of hard for you guys to see inside the pocket. But like I said, it's really hard to like have it open. Um, as you guys can tell, like it's like there's like really like you have to squeeze in there and move things around, um, which is kind of what sucks. Um, but it's not like a huge, huge deal. Um, now there now you can more easily see the two pockets in here. In this pocket, I have wipes and this is just a Huggies wipe case. Um, that I have in there and I also carry around some diapers with me these are four of the Pampers swaddler diapers and then in this other pocket I carry around a sleeper because babies are babies they spit up they have blowouts and whatnot so it's always good to keep that in there I also have a pair of socks because sometimes he doesn't wear socks and when we go grocery shopping it gets very very cold so he gets cold, his little feet get cold. I also have a short sleep. I also have a short sleeve onesie and a long sleeve onesie. And I think I have two more things in here. I have a brush and a comb because he has a long hair. So it's always good to have that on hand. And that's everything I have in there. Um, that's what it kind of looks like inside and that's everything that i have in there it is pretty roomy um the only thing that sucks is just since it's so deep it's really hard to organize things in there um so I, things end up just getting piled into each other and it just makes it a little bit hard harder to organize but i do like this bag i am on the hunt for a different diaper bag with a little bit more organization um but overall if you're not carrying a lot of stuff or if you're not um, if you buy separate bags to organize inside of this bag, it would be awesome. So I may just end up doing that for now, but this is the Skip Pop bag, and that is everything that is in my diaper bag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will do a better diaper bag video in the future, whether it's still with this diaper bag just organized or with a new diaper bag. So I will see you guys next time. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up, and bye!